menu system. Oh yeah, look how smooth it is. You gotta give them props. They really made it work well. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we've got a bad boy caps on because we're gonna be doing some gaming on these M1 Max MacBook Pros. Or at the very least, we're gonna be showing you Windows performance. And like I think Guns N' Roses said it best, don't you cry, don't you cry tonight because it's gonna be a sad, sad day if you're thinking about getting these machines for Windows or gaming, like, okay, if the game is on, on there, like for example, out of all of my Epic Games launcher games, these ones aren't allowed. These are the ones that work on Mac. They work spectacular, like, I'm talking about 2x the speed of my 16 inch MacBook Pro, the i9 5500M. But I mean, just check Fortnite out 20 frames a second on the i9 and 40 frames a second with slightly higher resolution on this M1 Max. So the potential is there. Fortunately, the compatibility is not there. And a lot of you guys on live stream, you guys were telling me, hey, Ash, can it play The Secret of Monkey Island? We want to do some guy brush. Treepwooding, Treepwood, Gabriel Treepwood, the Mighty Pirate, and uh, unfortunately, play. This is in crossover. Come on, can you work? It goes full screen. We got potential right there, and that is really all you're gonna get. All right, what about something a bit more spectacular like Call of Duty Ghosts? Can we get that going? <sighs> Call of Duty Ghosts, like a ten-year-old game. Can that run? It can run. The menu looks amazing. It's the, one of the best menu systems I've seen in my life running on this Windows emulation. Look at that menu system. Oh yeah, look how smooth it is. You gotta give them props. They really made it work well. Look at that, very fluid. Look at that, back, forward, back, forward, back. It's got potential, will it work? Resume game. However, when you try playing the game, Looks great, right? A black screen. It actually does load, it takes a few minutes, and then you're gonna see the worst rendering performance in the history of the world. It's like going back 20 years, trying to play this game, actually before it was made. Anyway, it's horrendous. So I don't know what all these people are saying, crossover, this and that, wine, this and that. It's, it's horrendous. Might try wine. That ran better on the M1, that could run Crisis. Yeah, this is, this is just awful. And one of the bad things about it is if you do wanna go down this route, you need to have the installer. You need to have the installer of the game you're trying to install because if you try running it through Steam, it's not going to work like this. So you need to use the installer and no one has installers nowadays because everyone's just getting games from the service providers. They're not buying games from the CDs anymore. So I guess you just have to get the, the cracked version of it, which introduces viruses and all that kind of dodgy stuff. So it's a world of pain. However, what about Parallels? M1 Optimized. Can they save us from this misery? So this is Windows 10 ARM edition. It does have x86 emulation. So we can get some stuff on the screen. Look at that, it's launching. All right, this is the latest versions of Windows 10 you can get. It's uh, 21390.2025. The next version is Windows 11, so you don't wanna be using that. So, uh, so we're gonna play Parallels GTA 5. Let's see how amazing kind of technologies M1 Max can do. Windows ARM. So for some reason the sound isn't working. I had it working before, so let's not hold our horses. This is 800 by 600. It's the only resolution that really runs smooth enough. Let's boost it up. Should we do 1080p? Chug a city. Chug, chug, chug a city. Basically, it's too choppy to play. It just makes you want to mission fail all the time. Now note you can use Windows for like office kind of applications. There you go, we're getting a create a free account. So that kind of stuff should work. But intensive kind of like gaming experiences, lots of issues there when you're using into Windows. 
I've tried a crossover wine. You know, if you try getting the installer file directly, that should run better. I did run Crisis last time on the M1. Haven't played around with this one yet because don't get this machine to do gaming. Unless, unless you know the games you're getting, like if you're getting one of those Mac friendly games and enjoy your life, you're gonna be happy. Fortnite, that stuff kind of works. But if you're thinking about Windows, then think again. Oh, this is like, okay. Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> like, oh my God. Is that Angry Birds? Okay, he's got a letter. Yeah. Is this the kind of games you guys were after? Way, you look like you're rocking it out in the streets. Woo! All the kids always drift around the roundabouts over here. Look at that. This is the casual game, game you want to play. Attack, attack. Yeah, come on, Spud. Spud. Oh. Who else wants to come and play with us, guys? Oh, hey, we got, Sergio, we got... Brian, Sneakies. Yeah, okay, we're Brian. doing that. This is a live Cyber gaming Bob. session. Alert. We're going to press start when everyone's in. We've got two come more spaces. Come on, guys. Spaces. Two more. Two roll more up, roll spaces. up, roll up. Jackbox, um, dot TV. Dot TV. So that's the one thing that is a bit... You need to be aware of, you're not going to be getting that Windows gaming experience that you could get back in the day on the older MacBook Pros. I'm still using my i9er over there, so my computer. I, I was using this guy for like a day or two, and then I switched back to my i9. I haven't really noticed a difference, which is embarrassing, but this guy on everything else that I've tested is twice as fast. And as before, have you? Nothing, no one else covers this stuff. Boom, shakalaka, three, two, one. Oh, same speed, but let's switch. Oh, instant, a bit slower. So yeah, the speeds have improved. So if you're a, an anti-JPEGer and you love your HEICs, probably it's uh, more efficient, but it's just a lot slower. It's no longer a lot slower if you're using the right stuff. And for the record, this is the 32 gigabyte, 32 core, the max edition. I have a 64 gigabyte RAM one on order. However, I'll be honest with you, other than the live stream that we did where I was using the Intel version of Chrome, which really hogged a lot of memory, ever since I switched to the ARM version of Chrome, I haven't honestly needed the extra memory. I haven't run into any slowdowns for more RAM. But I'm still gonna get the 64 because if I cancel it now, I'll probably have to wait until next year because there's a run on these laptops at the moment. Anyway, let me know what kind of amazing games you wanna play on this M1 Mac Pro. Hopefully, hopefully you don't wanna play games on this stuff. Hopefully you're gonna be using it to fly like a bird, making music, making photos, making browser tabs and enjoying the show. menu system oh yeah look how smooth it is you gotta give them props they really made it work well